for it within the churches I for need, the black community. I need, I need that, I need the church to put their race. I need all black Christians yeah. to put their race either on the same level or a or above Christianity politically, not socially, politically. Yeah. Right. We need to, as a pastor, you need to preach that the church needs institutions. Otherwise, every single time that our grandmas go and pay tithes, they are funding their own displacement. How is that better than white supremacy, though, if you're asking us to be supremacists about being black people? Who said anything? Well, you brought up do white supremacy. Do you, you know you what supremacy up, entails? Yes, yeah, I know what you're about to say. I know what you're about to yeah. say. However, you, you have brought up white supremacy several times, but now you're saying put your blackness about, above everything. Black is the only way yes. to think about it. And that's, that is yes. a supremacy in, in and of itself, no, it's which I can respect your, your, your opinion on that, mm -hmm. but I don't operate just because of my blackness. There's so much more to me as a human, a woman, yes. and other things, an American. Yes. Like there are things that are intersectional about me as a person in this world that's not just everything has to be about my race. Mm -hmm. And I have a problem with that. In just that, that thought in general, that mm -hmm. everything must be seen through the eyes of being black. And if you don't, you get your black card. Well, I think hmm. So mm -hmm. put your skin color <laughs> at or above your faith. What do y'all think about what he said? Hard pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard pass. I mean, so I think a lot of um, our culture is basically screaming this without yeah. saying it, yeah. right? Um, and especially when it comes to what we just talked about where we're black Christians are caught in the middle of this war between your faith and your skin color. Yeah. He would like you to choose your skin color. And I think a lot of people do choose their skin color over their faith. Well, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? I don't know if it's skin color versus family. Mm. You mm. know what I mean? Like most, most people will choose family over faith. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's just a natural thing. It's not mm. even, like program is like you naturally if something happens to my brother or something happens to my sister I'm a you know I'm gonna go make it happen but yeah what that what that dude was talking about was just <laughs> you know just it was ludicrous well I, what what it says to me though is what he's concerned about is that we're we're contributing to our own issues as black people by who we vote for what we yeah. fund and all that kind of stuff is he completely wrong about that? Should no, that is no, is that not. something that we should ignore from what he said? No, nah. no, nah. he's I, not totally wrong about I, that. I, I, what I got from the Let's brother, the light, bro. what I got from the brother was, um, you know, I don't, I don't agree with his choice of, you know, non spirituality, or whatever. But he wants us to be accountable as a whole, opposed to what I heard from the girl. To me, she more whitewashed. She's talking about um, being an American. And we, we haven't got all the just do we need as Americans, as black Americans. So I disagree with her. And I understand he just wants us to be accountable as church people, build the churches, build the grocery stores with the churches, mm -hmm. build the education system with the churches, and be accountable for being who we're supposed to be as, as the body of Christ. Because we've been slacking. on Everybody start doing things that allow us to be funded financially, personally, in our own pockets. Mm -hmm. Church, a church I work at right now, they build them apartments on the parking lot. We don't got a parking lot no more because they was worried about getting money. The school that was upstairs is no longer up there. You know, so the school stopped being important. You worrying about apartments that's putting money in your pocket. It ain't a it ain't a low income apartment. It's just apartments for money. So you're not even doing low income to help people get established and get get things. So the church really got to get back to grassroots come outside the four walls that's something that we push in LA and we got pastors holding other pastors accountable and they out there on the blocks with us so I understand what the brother's saying we got to get back in the community because we lacking it ain't a whole lot of artists on ground zero with us too you know as, yeah. as well as it's not pastors out there so you know so so in the in the live stream uh Zion Prime says Jesus said who is my family then pointed to his disciples, the one who would do the will of my father is my family. So mm -hmm. I know I know we feel as black people that when you see another black person get shot in the street or you see another, you know, we feel kin to them. Right. Yeah. To. Do we do we are we ignoring the fact that our actual family is multicultural? Is that important to remember or because we see that black people get treated unfairly disproportionately? All we're saying is, hey, let's let's at least get it right. Let's, <laughs> let's at least get this part right before we start talking about everything else. Well, I'll say this. Your, our faith, 
our faith in Jesus, it should help our brothers and sisters yeah, that right. are black. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, if we put our faith first, that means when we see, when Jesus says, like, help the poor, help the less fortunate, help the widows, <coughs> help these people, that's the people in our community. That's the community. Jesus yeah. ain't going to tell you just just um, help the church. He's going to tell you to, of course, serve in your church and, yeah. and, and do that. But when he's seeing your community, he wants you to help that help destroy poverty, help destroy illiteracy, help destroy like, like injustice. injustice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not like it's not like Jesus is saying, like, turn your eyes to injustice. And I think they thinking American Christianity is saying, turn your eyes to injustice. Just help the church. Just help that. And like he said in the comments, um, they are like y'all are my family and we have white brothers and sisters. We have Asians. We have a- Arab. Anyway, I'm sorry, Arabic. We have all types of. I'm sorry, it's, it's happened. But we have all types of people that represent the body of Christ. Yeah. So, of course, we we think about faith first. But out of our faith, it should lead to seeing yeah. what's going on in the community that's wrong. If you're not seeing that, it. then something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with yeah. your yeah. faith. Yeah, yeah. Speak on, yeah. And, on blackness and and not be like, oh, here they go with that black stuff again. Why? Yeah. Because everybody else is worried about their own culture. China, China, Chinese got Chinatown. You know what I mean? Korea's got Korea yeah. Town. We don't got nothing, and the, and the hood is being gentrified from us. So we don't have that. So at what point do Christians really? I don't. I don't know churches that really teach humanitarianism. Mm-hmm. We're not humanitarianism humanitarians, and so we don't we don't see the different shades that we the the other colors. You know, because it was a lot of Caucasians that helped Martin Luther King. Uh, uh, in his movement, yep. so we got we yeah. got to understand it's not about the color line, but when it comes to color, we got to help our own and, right. and don't yeah. take offense to that. Yeah. You know, I love all people, but I got to help my black people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the in the in the word, look how, look at the people that that Yahweh hung around. Look at the people that Yahshua hung around, bro. Look at mm-hmm. the people he fed. Yeah. He was always outside, never yeah. inside. Yeah. He 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 get mad when he going inside. He didn't act out the people inside ain't acting like the people outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he would stay outside. He feed the five thousand. He'll be with yeah. the with the whoremongers. He'll be with the gangsters. He'll be you know that's what that's what he was because yeah. a lot of times when you look at it that's what the really people are. Yeah, mm. I've had my pockets mm-hmm. with it because I've been offended by. Um, when, when there's something that happens in the black community and we all are at odds with that and then you see the white church ignore that but then mm-hmm. they're speaking out on the name of Christianity and they're the larger platform of of um, recognized Christians in our in our country and it's like you call yourself the evangelical church but then you're not speaking out against these things you're brushing them under the rug I feel like my skin color is being highlighted at this point because mm. you're looking at me like I could be that person that was shot in the backseat of that police car or you know to me that hurts and so I've had problems where I identify a little bit with more like okay feeling like yeah my faith does matter to me more but also my skin color is is very highlighted and very on display whenever I'm interacting or seeing someone like yeah, I can no go way. into a store and feel my skin color and then That's hope right. that you would know that if we had an issue, you would know that I'm a Christian. So that there's not going to be any more issues. But that's where I've always had that like, like that pull. It's been hard for me. I love how, how, how uh, Red Breed, you unpack, man, uh, the two perspectives of both of those people, mm-hmm. right? Because what it made me think about is he's starting from a premise that those things are mutually exclusive, being a Christian mm-hmm. or being black, yeah. right? He's not seeing that they're, they're one and the same and they serve all those purposes, right? And that the yeah. Bible solves for injustice, right? Mm-hmm. And so he's not seeing it. And so he's speaking from that. But but to your point, Christ first, but yeah, I'm still a black man. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. And I was exactly. very disappointed during the George Floyd era and different yeah. things, right? And I remember the specific experience. I wonder if anybody else went, uh, did this. We were a bunch of different church leaders and whatnot, multicultural, and they did this exercise of there's these three kids outside of a baseball game at a fence, the white kid can see into the game. The uh, the Asian kid can like barely see. The black kid is like slightly below the fence and can't really see. So he's trying to look through a hole. And the question was, what would equity look like if this situation was solved? So we break out into different groups and Zoom rooms. You have these discussions, then you come back. And most people is <laughs> like, give the black kid another box that he can stand on to see the game. <laughs> so I said, well... For me, give the black kid a, a seat in the game with everybody else in the stands and some popcorn. And it was like, well, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, no, no, why, why? Why does he have to stand outside the game? Mm. Right. 
Why can't he sit in the game with everybody else? Right. Right. And it was too far a reach for many people in that conversation to to figure out sit to all have that conversation. All three of the kids, so they could equally. Absolutely, that was my point. Yeah. 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 Take the fence down. Take the fence down. <laughs> That's good, That's man. Good. That's good. Yeah. So I um, watch the whole conversation because what I what I get out of things like that, I know our first inclination is to be like, you know, this atheist and but like you could learn a lot from what people think about the church, right? Mm-hmm. So taking again the meat, throw out the bone. Mm-hmm. There's there's some truth that you need to get out of what that kid said, and then make sure you apply it biblically because mm-hmm. he's wrong about putting faith over your skin color. You yeah. should never do that. But there is something about. Uh, seeing injustice and not doing anything about it seeing your family members suffering and you just like it's all about me Mm -hmm. there's some truth in that so i i -hmm. hope that at some point he gets that you don't have to separate those two yeah that that jesus cares about what he cares about just like we do i love when i see conversations like that happening because when you think about um solomon being the wisest of, of all men and, and uh, we come from that lineage it almost makes you feel like well if you sit at this table long enough the wisdom mm. that I have to show you in Christ and understanding the, the word is going to eventually get into your psyche because to mm-hmm. me it feels like atheists can only go so far with their conversation you, you gotta just it, at some point it just stops yeah. and we can continue to go on and on and on because our, our God is eternal so yeah. all right. and do uh, atheists they, they no. believe in Evil, like the evil side of things, or they don't believe in like they believe everything is just happenstance, atoms crashing into each other. So, yeah, that, yeah. but I did see a good conversation between an agnostic and an atheist where mm-hmm. he was asking him, How do you determine the good versus evil? Mm-hmm. and he was saying, Flying planes into a tower is that good or evil? And he was like, That's evil, and then he was like, So, what makes you say that? Because they say that's good. Yeah. You know, yeah, so absolutely he's got it yeah. right, exactly. Yeah, and so I, it made him stop. Yeah. yeah, he he completely lost the conversation because he didn't know like yeah. how do I how do I law, come back from that? If there's a universal law, that means there's a law giver, and if you take away the law giver, then you can't say one thing is right yes. or wrong. That's it, why I asked the question because if you believe in one thing and not have that opposite side of it. Then mm. how can you believe on, on right. one thing and be one sided? That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. I, I, negative make the batteries move. Mm. Say it again. <laughs> positive and negative make the battery yeah, move. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm. We can't have these lights in here without mm. positive and negative. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's good. So you gotta have you gotta have the bad and you gotta have the good. I come from the bad. The father turned me to the good. So you gotta have that. Mm. I gotta mm. say, uh, good boy, bad boy, good. Mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When we young, we we good boys. We at the house. We chilling. We get older. We bad boys. Once we get wiser and we get born again, now we back to the Come good on, boy. Bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good boy, bad boy, good. 